Milan concept, Stadium Rock. And we have them tonight in an environment that exudes opulence. Yes, in Sydney, it's Harry's Cafe de Wheels. Would you please welcome them now, Aerosmith. <laughs> What's chef done today? What, what looks good? Say what? What looks good on the menu? Okay, we got... Uh, uh, pasta and peas, definitely. Yeah, Tasty stuff peas, with the curry. Okay, not potato and gravy. No, no, stay clear of all that. Listen, quite frankly, uh, that stuff's going to taste a lot better about four in the morning. Trust me, it's phenomenal here. <laughs> yeah. This is a beef bourguignon. Oh, really? Yeah, that was, that was what they call it before they shot it. Guys, it, it's been 20 years you've been on the road and you've finally made it to Australia. And I've, I've been wanting to say this for a long time. Great to see you and great to see that right. you're alive, you know? Yeah. 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 Tell me, to be here. Given, uh, given the history of the, the band, you know, is it surprising for you to be still living in the 90s? Wait, it's, it's great to be living, yes. <laughs> yeah? A bit of a surprise. Anytime. Yeah. Did it take your friends by shock to think that you've made it through to the 90s? I don't know if any of our friends are still alive. <laughs> I always thought I'd have a normal job by this time, but I guess this is my idea of a normal job now. Are your parents still worried about you, mate? Do they still think, oh, God, we should get something decent, you know? I yeah. still hope I'll go to college. Yeah, that's right. You're going to do that degree one day, I know. Congratulations on Pump. I think it's a great album. Thank you. In, um... In Australia so far, as you probably know, you've had three really big singles. I mean, all of them, What It Takes, Love in an Elevator, of course, and Janie's Got a Gun. Are you happy with the way the album came up? Very much so. Yeah, it seems... I know this sounds dumb, but, but this album, Pump, seems like the band was a lot, I don't know, more together, more happier on the album. Well, you know, we kind of had to climb out of this hole. Uh, from the 70s, especially on permanent vacation. And this one, we decided to take a little bit more of a risk. Yeah, it, do you do that deliberately? Do you, each time you go into the studio, do you look back at what you did before, or do you just go in and try to do something different, but still arrows bit? Well, we try and get something a little different, you know, because uh, we just don't want to repeat what we did before. You know, that's what keeps us going. Yeah, and I also read somewhere where it said that you guys have a theory, if you can't play it live, it doesn't go on the album. It, it, well, if you can't play it acoustically, then it doesn't go on the album. Yeah, we're always trying to get it closer to the best uh, live show we can. You know, that's the cloth we're cut from. Well, it's such a long time on the road, you know, and this, this current world tour is, what, two years now? No, we've been out 13 months. But it feels like two years? At it least. feels like three years. <laughs> <laughs> this must be a surprise for you, seeing everything in focus and stuff on a world tour. Yeah, well, they, we knew we were coming here. We knew we were coming here last, so they saved the best to last. Yeah, that's great. And I'm so glad that everyone's really looking forward to the concerts. Now, Aerosmith are a band who always play in uh, big stadiums and stuff. You obviously enjoy playing live. Yeah. <laughs> and the best, really the best part of it is that, you know, you get choked with emotion when you get that live feeling happening. <clears throat> so what's the best thing? How do you fire up? I mean, 13 months is such a long time on the road. So how do you fire up when you go on stage for another gig? The best part sure of it is there, there's a different audience every night. So even though the songs are the same, it's like a whole new thing when you get up there and, you know, you see the, you know, different audience personalities. Is there really, is there really such a difference from, you know, like big stadium to big stadium? I don't know, you know, after being on the road for this long, you start to just, uh, you know, notice those kind of things. And, you know, to us, a, you know, a 12,000 seat hall doesn't even seem that big anymore. Isn't that wild? You know, you guys never really did uh, sort of sweaty small clubs, you know. I, from reading your biogs, you started on, like, college tours and stuff. Do you ever get a nerd? Sorry? Who told you that? We have... um, some guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't know. Some, some guy just told me that once. Uh -huh. <laughs> We did the clubs. Yeah, yeah, you did a lot of clubs. Oh, the clubs, you did them. Yeah, yeah no, you clubs go. you did. Yeah, no, colleges. Do you ever get a nurse to do small gigs again every now and then? Yeah, we just did the marquee in London. Oh, really? Yep. Boy, it's such a they famous paid us to do. For it. Sorry? They even paid us. You're kidding. Did they throw no, stuff? they did. <laughs> did they throw stuff? Yeah, they did that too. They do that when they like you. It's a bit like playing in, like, Carolina or somewhere like that. A little That's different. It. Yeah, a little deep south. So what can Australian audiences expect from Aerosmith? This is the first time you've arrived, and all we've seen from you really is film clips and uh, your albums. What, what's, uh, what happens live? 
Well, we're trying to figure out uh, whether to play stuff from the last two albums or going all the way back, you know, because we heard that uh, our last two albums were the, were the biggest ones here. But uh, we've got all, you know, like all these fans hanging around here that are uh, saying, play the old song. Well, hang on. We'll check, we'll check with our audience here. What do you reckon? Should they go back a bit or uh, the last two albums? Guys? We're getting a mix, you know, we're getting a real mix. I think that Pump must, uh, the 90s are going to be a really good time for Aerosmith because I think you're finally getting uh, fans who uh, don't think about the Rolling Stones or don't think about any of the past stuff but just see you from these first albums. Is that different for you, you know? Yeah, they just, they don't believe the press like we don't believe the press. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think, that this album's given you a whole new group of uh, fans again, from different from the 70s. Yeah. Guys, I've got to ask you a question. This is probably a bit out of left field. Did you guys ever see a movie, Spinal Tap? Oh, yeah. <laughs> good movie. Yeah, Are you good. kidding? We lived part of that movie. Yeah. Well, that's what I'd say. Do you ever just giggle a little bit? You know? <laughs> All the time. Yeah. Hey, now, who was it who rang up, ran up the $80,000 uh, tab at the hotel? <laughs> or, or did, <laughs> no. He did. He did. How did you do that? What did, we, what did you do? Drive a Porsche through the wall or something? No, I just invited a lot of my friends by, you know? Wow. And they, they all got hungry and thirsty. And That's a lot of club sandwiches and Coke. <laughs> <laughs> your biggest expense is donuts, huh? Well, guys, your, your tour kicks off really soon. I've got the dates here. You're in Memorial Drive in Adelaide, if you can make it there. And then you come to us uh, in Melbourne, October 1st and 2nd. Then back up to Brisbane, Canberra, Sydney and Perth. It's going to be a great trip. You're going to be travelling around. All of Australia is really looking forward to it, guys. So have a great time. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. We're going away. But before we do, coming back with David Wilson and have a look at Aerosmith with Janie's Got a Gun. Janie's Got a Gun. Don't be just be gun. Everybody is on a run. The city into which everyone...